Mel was a perfect match for the attributes that I so desired. And for a while, I really didn't know why. It became very apparent to me that this was the woman who I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. And then nine, ten months later, we were married. We had been married for a month at that time, and I had observed something about Mel. He seemed to be very nervous, and by that time, I knew him well enough to know he was deeply troubled. I could not figure it out. A few times I said, is everything okay? And he said, I think it's going to be. did that thinking, I am married now, this is going to go away. And I think many of us feel the same way. And then, lo and behold, we see a catalog, we want to dress again. So one month after we were married, I wrote a 42-page epistle describing my whole life as Mel, Melanie, what this all meant and took it to her at her office and asked her to read it. It was thick, 40-something pages thick. And he pressed it into my hand, and he said, would you read this? He left, I said goodbye, and I started reading his life story. Three hours went by, and I was thinking, this is certainly, this could be a very short marriage. I did read the letter, and I thought, you know, this is going to change my life. I started reading all about his childhood, about the fact that as a little boy, he wanted to play with the girls, but he knew he had to play with the boys. He knew he had to pick a few fights. He knew he had to be rough and tumble, so he became a wonderful actor. I heard from him, I heard from his heart that this had been a struggle. I think that reading the letter helped me and it was so much in detail. And he made another point perfectly clear that I love you. And I know, I almost knew without asking that you would accept me. And that degree of trust and faith was a wonderful thing. Her words were, I love you and we'll make it work. I realized that perhaps it was the feminine side that I had fallen in love anyway.